So I just got this new brushless Ryobi toolkit. Comes with a saw, a drill, and a driver. I've really been wanting to try out the new Ryobi brushless tools. The impact driver is a lot shorter and better. The skill saw should have more power. I'm not too excited about the drill, but it'll be fun to test out on the inertial dyno. This also comes with the new plus HP batteries. So, anyway, let's get this box open. Let's see what's inside. So, inside we have the impact driver, the drill, shorter than the other drill, it's more com compact. We have circular saw. This is a full seven and a quarter inch blade, which could be nice. I'm not sure if I like the extra weight that comes with the seven and a quarter inch blade. The six and a half was probably big enough for a lot of the stuff I did. So yeah, not sure about that. They also put the blade on the wrong side. I don't know why people put the blade on the left. I know it's because worm drive saws are that way, but and it comes with a battery charger, the HP battery, and where is it in here? The small battery. So, so once again, not enough batteries for this many tools, but I've got bunches of batteries, so it it should be fine. So, anyways, I'm gonna test these things out and let you guys know what sort of or how they perform, whether or not they are any better. So old impact driver, new impact driver. New drill, old drill, and new saw, old saw. So anyways, I'll test these out further, give it a try. This one's got a smaller hand grip. I guess it's okay. That's a little clunky. Same with the drill. The brushless batteries have an extra set of contacts. Well, the HP batteries have an extra set of contacts for here and here. For the brushless tools. So, I'm curious if they make any difference in the older tools. That don't have those two contacts. And also, you know, do I get similar performance between the battery types? So I'm going to do a more in-depth review of each of the individual tools. I'm going to take them apart and see what they look like on the inside and that sort of thing. But my overall impression, these brushless tools, where the heck did the drill go? So these brushless Ryobi tools so far seem pretty good. Um, I've done some testing of the individual components. I'm going to do separate videos on them because if I put all three of these, the impact driver, the drill, and the saw all into one video and made nice in-depth reviews, it would be a really long video. So I'm going to do each individual one. Uh, let me know in the comments which one you want to see first because I can prioritize. So, but this seems like a, quite a deal. They all seem like the brushless tools have more power. Um, I haven't used them enough to know about battery life, but if they're decent, and battery life doesn't really matter a whole lot to me, uh, but power does, particularly with the saw and the impact driver. The drill I never felt was underpowered. Um, the impact driver like being shorter than the old one. That'll be nice. I like the belt loops. That'll be nice. The saw... I don't particularly care that it's bigger, but I like the extra power. This is a nice, powerful side compared to the other one. You'll see the actual testing in the in the other video, but it, it definitely has more power. But one thing about Ryobi tools, though, you do have to be careful 
buying their sets of tools because some of their sets of tools they have lower quality tools in the pack in the bundle than they do when they sell individuals sometimes but not always this set has it'll tell you which model number they are like this one is a which one is this this is a p 508 and this one is a p 239 and this one is a P252. So you can look up those individual components and then the whole pack had a, another P number. This whole, pack. this whole pack of tools was a P1837. So, for example, before I bought this saw, I was looking at possibly buying a pack of saws, a pack with a saw and, a, and an impact driver and all that combined. However, the saw that came with that set was a five and a quarter inch saw and looked a lot chintzier than this one. And same with um, their cordless sawzall. There's a one in the kit which does not look nearly as, as good as their, their one that's an individual tool. So yeah, I'm going to start taking them apart and filming those, but you'll see that in another video. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned for that. Oh, and the HP battery versus the four amp hour battery, regular one, not a whole lot of difference unless you're using the uh, brushless tools. And then the HP battery does make a difference. However, it wasn't significant difference over my old top performer for just straight up current this no name Enerdrup battery so so I don't know if this is the HP batteries are really worth the extra money but if you're going to be using brushless particularly in something that's a really high current draw like the skill saw or sawzall I would recommend getting at least a couple eight of the HP batteries well, if you like this video, I hope you'd consider subscribing to my channel. I don't have very many subscribers right now, so any little bit will be a great help to the channel. So if you really, really like the channel and want to support me, I have a Patreon account set up. And if you don't want to do that, I hope you'd at least consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks. <coughs>